Well, welcome to Leaf Central. We're ready for a transplant, a double transplant. Remove and replace, remove and replace. Now that would have cost me at least three grand. And I want to take the battery out of this car, which has a great body, but a bad battery, a poor battery, and put it in this car, which has a bad body, but a decent battery. So in researching this online, there's a lot of great videos, but they always leave out the part where they lower the battery out of the car. There's one video where they show a very awkward and almost a disastrous um, technique where they used three floor jacks and in raising the car up, uh, this was the first time I've done it. So first I drove up on these ramps, which gave me, oh, about nine inches of height simultaneously left and right side. Once I did that, I could get my floor jack under here. And you see that depression is the jacking point. Well, I put a piece of two by four on the other side of that, that lip with the two indentations. And I could jack up from there without damaging the car. So I raised it up to a reasonable level. And then I went to the rear of the car. And what in a time I jacked up the car, the rear end. So I had to alternate between the corners, front, rear, left, right, front, rear, left, right, in order to safely raise the car. I now have the car on the uh, rear cross member. Cross member, but it's the rear swing arm of the suspension. So that gives me a very sturdy, thick place. This is the cross member. I believe that I could put my floor jack under this. It's uneven though, so I would put a two by four let's see, in here. And then I hopefully will be able to jack up the car both ends at the same time. I mean, the entire rear end in one jacking. That'll save me time. First order of business, make the car safe by disconnecting the negative battery terminal. And right in the center is this flap. It's three 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, getting this off was a complete pain in the ass. It was like stuck here. I couldn't raise this and I couldn't budge this. So I actually had to take this thing and, and work it. Here's the front going down the left side towards the rear. Here's the first standoff, which is for the pop rivets. There's the second standoff for the pop rivets. There's about an inch and a half between the end of the motorcycle lift support bar and a piece of one by underneath it for support. And on this side, 
we are on the extrusion. So that is basically, this is the center extrusion. So it's the middle of three extrusions on the bottom. One, two, three. And then about an inch and a half distance from the standoff. Okay, we're getting ready to put the battery in. This is the one I took out of the white leaf. This one only has four bars. So I've set it on these jack stands temporarily and I will end up putting this in the body damage silver leaf. But here is our battery. Now, obviously I gotta get this lined up and doing it just on a transmission jet, I mean, sorry, a motorcycle lift. Just doing it on a motorcycle lift could be really hard to maneuver it. So, I got two furniture dollies, which I then blocked up, and uh, I can actually move this thing quite easily this way. So, that's another tip. Just look at me. <laughs> but I've gotten both batteries out, and I've got one battery back in a car. And it was my first time, so it was really hard. But... I then realized and I remembered that I had a laser level and I'd gotten this idea from a guy who works on leafs because here's what I did. All right, so I told you that I had lowered it with the motorcycle lift. I had lowered it onto two furniture dollies that went on either side of the motorcycle lift. Now, while it's on those dollies, you have pretty good maneuverability of the battery, but how are you gonna know where to maneuver it to? So, I got a laser level, and that laser level projects either a horizontal or a vertical beam in perfect plumb. What I did was, there's the battery brackets. Now, when you put those in, they're meant to be put in loose so you can maneuver them around. They give you some adjustment, but you have to line up so that when the back of the battery comes up, it misses them, right? So I put the laser level so that it was touching both of those brackets. And I knew that that was a parallel line. Then at that time, the battery was down here waiting to be jacked up. So I maneuvered it until the back end of the battery was perfectly in line with that laser line. And then I knew when I went up, it would clear that perfectly. Then on the other axis, <clears throat> on the other axis, I put the laser level and I had it run from bolt hole in the frame to bolt hole, bolt hole. And then I moved the battery in and out until that laser was going through the center of the bolt holes. Now, as you jack it up with the lift, because of the physics of the lift, it's always gonna creep away from you. So what you do is you be begin to take it up and as it creeps away, you just keep grabbing the handle down here and pulling it, pulling it to yourself. And pretty soon you're able to get one bolt in. Once, once you can get one bolt in, you pretty much have it made.